In your hands, my dissatisfied fellow countrymen, and not mine, is the momentous issue of civil war. You have no oath registered in heaven to destroy the government, while I have the most solemn one to preserve, protect, and defend it. Abraham Lincoln, 1861. Talking about the Civil War, y'all. You know, the bloodiest war in American history. One, two, one, two. This is Civil War music, Union no more music. The kind of tune that lets you know what we did go through it. Let me tell you this, there was nothing civil about it at all. Like Lincoln said, a house divided surely will fall. And it did with the creation of the Confederate nation. It was the initiation of the manifestation of broken relations. The brink of obliteration was where a lack of cooperation brought us. And hopefully it taught us, in some cases it's worth getting shot. Especially in 1863, on the first of that year, Abe granted liberty. Lincoln proclaimed that Southern slaves soon would be free it was one of the most important dates in our history but freedom wasn't free liberty had a price many men died so others could have the rights there were bloody fights that went on to the night to be brave many men prayed to jesus christ and that's why god this country's torn apart seeing brothers killing brothers is tearing at my heart years went on there was no end in sight abe looked down the tunnel and saw a little light now i'm sure you've heard about the battle of gettysburg early july of 1863 was when it occurred and many perished. Lincoln said their sacrifice was to be cherished. Their cause was ostensible, commendable. They were death dependable. Their deaths would heal the Union. Our nation's fractures became mendable. After many battles, the Confederates became weak as a result of the North's winning streak. And on April 9th of 1865, a way to end the war was legibly contrived. Members of both sides agreed at Appomattox to end the bloodshed. Unities were matters, and soon after was the start of Reconstruction. The Feds tried to mend the South because of its destruction and instruction was to implement the reduction of the South's power. Many were afraid of corruption. Uh, uh, one, two, one, two. But that's another story for another time. I like to educate with my rhythm and rhyme. So here's what you should know from the words of my song. Apes' words still reverberate like the crash of a gong. And as president and commander in chief, he set a precedent for freedom and equality. And if I were him and you followed me, you'd be improving our American society.